Hey everybody, this is going to be another Apple Motion 5 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to give you a short and sweet tutorial on how to use the camera on Apple Motion 5. So, I have already drawn two rectangles, one red and one white, using the rectangle tool. Now I want to do just a quick, simple camera motion. So, for that, I will go down here to the camera button and click it. And as soon as I do, we see this pop-up box here. Cameras only affect 3D groups. Do you want to switch your 2D group to 3D? There are no 3D groups in this project. Switching the existing groups to 3D will allow the camera to affect them. There's the options cancel, keep as 2D, which means you can't add a camera, or switch to 3D. We're gonna click this. Perfect. Now, as you can see up here, and down here, we have a camera. And this right here is a camera tool. You can see the different camera angles. The top camera angle, the right camera angle, the bottom camera angle, and the left camera angle. And this one, the front and the perspective. Let me just quickly run through them. Top, right, bottom, left, and perspective. Now for the purpose of doing this tutorial, we want to have the perspective camera angle so we can see the camera itself right there and that way we can actually move it around. Alright, well this is how you move the camera in the different directions. Using this circle, you can rotate the camera that way and this way. Using this circle you can rotate the camera up and down for the camera angle. Using this circle you can turn the camera on its x-axis And these handlebars, this handlebar will dolly move the camera and turn it in this direction. The blue handle here will dolly out and dolly in the camera. This green handle here will crane up and crane down the camera. And now you also have these tabs here. There's the camera tab here with a lot of different options, two different types of cameras, framing, which is the current one, and viewpoint. Let's keep it on framing for now. You can change the angle of view You can change the near plane. And by the way, notice whatever changes you make, you'll see the changes reflected on a tiny preview box. You can change the far plane. You can change the near fade. And you can change the far fade. There's the behaviors tab that's empty. There's the properties tab that has to do with the position, rotation, scale, and the anchor point of the camera. 
and you can do these numerical values for each one which gives you a lot of control over the camera tool on motion 5 let me just try the Z here goes in comes out let's try the Y here oops <laughs> let's try the Y here cranes up cranes down let's try the X here goes to the side it's dollying around basically that's really cool same goes for rotation on the scale and let's try the anchor points anyways I'm not going to play around with all these you can take a look at them yourself so now let's say we want to record a short animation with some camera movement. All right, well, keeping it on perspective camera for now, we are going to hit the record button, move the player head anywhere you want, let's say eight seconds in, and we'll do a little animation. The camera dollies that way in that turn and 10 seconds we'll do this movement camera goes up like that and 14 seconds we'll do this movement the camera moves in this direction and towards the end the camera goes close and that's the end of the recording now you have two different options watch it back as the perspective camera so you can see the camera's movement and make any corrections you want This is all the camera's movement. All the keyframing that you just did for the camera. Or you can go up here and change it to active camera and actually watch the scene now this is what the scene looks like with the camera movement you can see it's turning around slowly and then it's going up turning around yeah and then back to the beginning and this is how I did the intro to my YouTube videos on my Digitronic channel, all the uh, camera movement with my 3D logo and all that, that's how I did it. I will give you more detailed 
uh, tutorials on how to do introduction videos or intros like that using cameras and light effects and all that stuff with Motion 5. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here on youtube.com slash dgtronic for all tech related videos, unboxing videos, app reviews, game reviews, all that good, cool stuff. Again, youtube.com slash dgtronic. I will see you in the next video.